happening today. Cyclists from across the globe are suiting up for Tulsa's best known cycle event, Tulsa Tough. Two works for you anchor Max Resnick is live with more on the fun kicking off tonight in the Blue Dome District. Max. Hey, tonight, Daniel, good morning. That's right, it all kicks off tonight right here in the Blue Dome District. The first night, uh, race of the night at 6.15 is the men's Cat 3, and it's one of about a half dozen races you can see tonight here in the Blue Dome District, the first day of Tulsa Tough. Now, if you've never been down here for night one, expect massive crowds. The city estimates about 3,000 people will be down here. Be sure to stick around for fireworks and award ceremonies as well. Another 3,000 people are expected tomorrow downtown. Saturday is a day full of racing. From the Grand Fondos at 7 a.m. at John Hope Franklin and Elgin to men's, women's, and juniors races by Guthrie Green through Nightfall in the Brady Arts District. And on Sunday, of course, the street party bike race that gets international attention at 8 a.m. in the Riverview neighborhood. That's 15th and Riverside. It's going to be transformed for a full day of racing where Cry Baby Hill and all of its fans turn out. Racers say they're ready to roll. Can't wait to participate. I can't wait to spectate. It's going to be so fun. Now, of course, the heat is also going to play a major factor this year, something that Storm Shield meteorologist Brandon Woolley is going to break down for us. Coming up in 30 minutes here on Two Works For You today, the reminders that EMSA has not only for the racers, but for fans alike. Live downtown, Max Resnick, Two Works For You.